Say hello. Say hello, everybody. This is Miso. He was a hit last night. Everybody loved the cat. So he wanted to come and say hi. He has a dopamine deficiency, don't you? No motivation, except when somebody has meat, then he has motivation. Other than that, he's just laying around the house doing nothing except looking for love. Hello, everybody. So, tonight I thought I'd talk about dopamine. Dopamine is a really interesting neurotransmitter and one of the most important neurotransmitters in your brain. It activates when you fall in love. That's why I say love is a drug. Cocaine activates dopamine. Stimulants like Ritalin and Adderall work on dopamine receptors in the brain. His name is Miso, right? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? It's like, dude, what are you doing to me? Love this guy. He's such a good boy. All right. To work. Dopamine is made by cells deep in your brain in an area called the substantia nigra, really important. Also in an area called the VTA. Um, and when dopamine's too high, you can get OCD, you can be in a manic state. Uh, You can really be agitated, sometimes even psychotic. And when it's too low, you look like you have ADD. Short attention span. You can't sort of grab the details. Um, so you fail to give close attention to de details. You tend to make careless mistakes. It's sort of like you don't have enough gas moving the car. So you have trouble listening because your focus isn't good. You fail to finish things. Your organization's not great. But one of the most important symptoms is you avoid, <laughs> dislike, or are reluctant to engage in tasks that require sustained mental effort. That that's hard for you. You also tend to lose things, get easily distracted, and can be forgetful. And one of the things that has been discovered recently is your phone, yes, the one I'm talking to now, can actually steal your dopamine. It's been programmed to addict your brain and wait for the next little buzz or sound or vibration to notify you that there's incoming news, that there's an incoming text or email or however you communicate. Just waiting, anticipating for that little dopamine hit um, It trains your brain to want it. And then you end up wasting a lot of time, either on games or other things that steal your mind. And I noticed this about Parkinson's. What is this brand of shirt? It's a polo shirt, Ralph Lauren. Um, Anyways, my dopamine must be low. I'm reading the comments as we go. Um, there's a comment about Parkinson's disease. In Parkinson's disease, where you get a resting tremor and you have trouble walking and you 
lose coordination and your motivation can go down and you can be depressed and you have trouble moving your muscles. Often cells in this, <coughs> excuse me, in the substantia nigra start to die and you don't produce enough dopamine. And uh, that's a real big problem. And I think one of the common causes of Parkinson's, yes, it has some genetic contributions, but you're exposed to toxins. So my dad had no idea, but when we were little, my brother and I would dig trenches around the fruit trees. We had an acre of land and we had lots of fruit trees and we would then spray the weeds with oil, like engine oil. And it would kill the weeds, but inhaling um, those fumes, clearly a bad idea for the brain. But back then, 60 years ago, nobody knew that. But being exposed to environmental toxins can damage your brain, particularly the dopamine receptors in the brain. And so how do you detox those toxins? Is you always should be detoxing. I'm not a fan of the two week detox. I'm like, you should always be detoxing. Why would you ever want anything toxic in your body or in your brain? And so you're always supporting the four organs of detoxification. Um, water, <coughs> flush things out through your kidneys. Fiber, flush things out through your gut. Sweat with exercise or infrared saunas. Actually behind me, or in front of me, behind you is an infrared sauna. Um, and then support your liver. It's one of the reasons I don't drink because it's toxic to your liver and eat brassicas. We had Brussels sprouts tonight, it was a phenomenal dinner. Um, brassicas, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, cabbage are all detoxifying vegetables for you. Yes, military personnel are subject to high toxin exposure. I've actually scanned a couple of people who were exposed to Agent Orange, and their brain just look like a disaster. And um, the black tar pits in Afghanistan and Iraq, um, they cause a lot of damage to the, to the brain. So whatever you inhale, whatever comes on your skin, uh, whatever you eat, if it's toxic, it becomes part of you and actually damages you. So you want to protect your dopamine. Um, it's just so critical. Um, and in my book, Feel Better Fast and Make It Last, there's a whole section on how to protect things. So now you know how important dopamine is. Dopamine's also involved in addictions. And there's an addiction cycle. Um, the addiction cycle is in the book. And what do you do? You engage in actions that increase dopamine, makes you feel high or pleasurable, think cocaine or falling in love. But when the dopamine wears off, you feel withdrawal, leaving you more likely to feel flat or even depressed. So you re-engage in the behavior, you fall in love with someone else or you use cocaine again, and it helps you feel good, even if it's bad for you. And sugar increases dopamine. And so engage in the behavior, feel high, dopamine spikes, dopamine wears off, you feel bad, you engage in the behavior 
again, but the high's not quite as good the second time, which is why you always think back to your first love, even though that person may in fact make you crazy later on. Anyways, it's the cycle of addiction. And so what I'm talking about is so let's do positive things to drip dopamine. When you dump it, you feel high, but then you feel terrible. So think of dripping dopamine rather than dumping dopamine. So positive things, meaning and purpose. I look forward to talking to you. That adds meaning to my day. Lasting love. After this, I'm hanging out with my lasting love, Tana. Volunteering, positive relationships, traveling, although not during a pandemic. Spiritual experiences like prayer, worship. Churches are beginning to open. Just be thoughtful. Remember the don't worry, be happy people die the earliest from accidents or preventable illnesses. So socially distance, wear a mask when you're out, be thoughtful. I know some of you think the coronavirus is not that bad and it's a conspiracy. And, you know, I'm irritated. They're not talking about the real problem of mortality with this thing, which is our unhealthy society. But I have a 30-year-old team member in New York who ended up on a ventilator for five weeks. So let's make no mistake. This thing can be wicked and you don't want it. So be smart. Um, gratitude, appreciation, digital discipline, pumpkin seeds, increase dopamine, green tea, the supplement SAMe, L-tyrosine and omega-3 fatty acids. So these are things that can support your dopamine. So the things that dump dopamine, that really they make you feel good in the short run, bad in the long run, jumping out of an airplane. Why would anybody jump out of a perfectly good airplane? Um, repeatedly falling in love and falling out of love, in love, out of love, in love, out of love high-risk sports, extramarital affairs, video games, pornography, cocaine, fame, um, undisciplined digital behavior, methamphetamines, alcohol, scary movies, gossiping. And I want you to be super careful with your dopamine. Now, if you were born with low dopamine, maybe you have ADD. You should check out my ADD post where I describe the symptoms, short attention span, but not for everything. Um, distractibility, disorganization, procrastination, impulse control issues, and finding ways to boost dopamine, either with supplements like rhodiola, ashwagandha, ginseng, green tea, um, or stimulant medications when they're prescribed properly make a radical positive difference for people. Um, so high value dopamine activities, sunlight, vitamin D increases dopamine. All of you should know your vitamin D level like you know your blood pressure or your cholesterol that important and then work to optimize it either by getting more sun or taking a vitamin D3 supplement. Critical. Normals between 30 and 100. I think optimals between 50 and 100. My level just recently took it as 76. I am so proud of myself. Um, exercise increases dopamine. It's actually a natural treatment for ADD, meditation, yoga, massage therapy, um, certain kinds of music, fish oil, olive oil, green tea, protein-rich diet, having some protein in your diet's important, 
turmeric, oregano, magnesium, resveratrol. All of these things can strengthen your dopamine. 22, oh, vitamin D is 22. It's not good. And you're right. Everyone in Canada is likely deficient if they are not taking a D3 supplement. Um, interesting fact on D3, when I really learned about it, I'd been trying to lose weight for 30 years, tried every diet you can imagine. I come from a family of overweight people. My mom's an awesome cook and her pizza would give me dopamine, also make me fat. And when I tested my level, it was 17. Now, what did I just tell you? Normal is 30 to 100. So I was severely deficient even though I live in Southern California where the sun is out like it is today, 330 days a year. And one of the most interesting things when I started taking vitamin D, 10,000 units a day to raise my level, I now take 7,000 units a day, my appetite went away. It was so interesting that I just didn't feel hungry all the time. And that's one of the many benefits of taking vitamin D. So you want to protect your dopamine levels. You know, I keep saying this, brain health is three things. Brain envy, you gotta care about it. Freud was wrong. Penis envy is not the cause of anybody's problems. Never seen it. Not once in my 40 years of being a psychiatrist. Got to care about it. Avoid anything that hurts it. Do things that help it. With dopamine, you want to have that same mindset. Dopamine envy. You want healthy dopamine. Avoid anything that dumps it, that hurts it, and engage in habits. Just like we talked about vitamin D, exercise, meditation, magnesium, oregano, that support it. And with better dopamine levels, you have better mood, you have better energy, you have better motivation, you can focus for longer. You can do things you know you should do. Miso's talking to all of you, if you can hear her, him. Um, this is so important. You might want pizza, but it might hurt you. You never want to be in love with something that is harmful for you. You might love chocolate chip cookies, but they don't love you back. They're going to abuse you and beat you up. Somebody asked about the book. It's called Feel Better Fast and Make It Last. I love this book. Like it's perfect for a pandemic. I hope you stay safe. And as the world opens up, be thoughtful, be careful. And um, I want you to have enough anxiety that you do the right thing, but I also want you to get some sunshine because um, that will boost your vitamin D level and your dopamine and help keep you happy. Just, I think it was something from Missouri in a lake. I saw like hundreds of people and I'm like, I'm not thinking that's a great idea. Anyways. I'm thinking about you. I will talk to you soon. Have a great night.